I'm Neryl Dixon, and this is your D210 post-game report. The Dallas Mavericks blow another 14-point lead. They lose by three points in overtime to the Brooklyn Nets, 107 to 104. Give them credit. They executed, um, and we got beat twice. I mean, we got blown by twice. And, you know, once for a foul, and then once for a layup, and then, you know, then it, then it hinges on the last shot, and then another five minutes on the clock. So, you know, unfortunate. Um, but, you know, they, they deserve the credit, and, you know, we... We put ourselves in that situation. Tough shooting night for Dirk Nowitzki. He was two of 12 from the field, finished with only 10 points. The Mavs are now two and two in this eight game homestand and clinging to a half game lead in the Western Conference. Monte Ellis, who had led all scores with 32 points though, feels like it's not time to start panicking. I'm gonna take it one game at a time. This is not the time to panic. Uh, lot of, I got a lot of games ahead. Uh, still got four more home games. Try to get these four, but we're going to take it one game at a time and keep pushing to our goal and what we need to do. You know, kind of hesitated too much. Uh, I was kind of always waiting on the double team instead of just, uh, you know, just playing my game. And then they, they mix it up. Sometimes it didn't come, and I was kind of looking around where, they, where they're coming from. So uh, they had me off balance, and then uh, they could uh, do a good job with that game plan. The Brooklyn Nets win their fourth consecutive game on the clutch shoulders of Joe Johnson. He sends the game into overtime and finishes with 22 points. We love giving the ball to Joe. Joe loves having the ball. Um, but, you know, I thought a couple plays that we went to was away from Joe, and Joe ended up with the ball. One was a big three um, by Paul being the playmaker. He found him. Um, and that's, you know, Joe's been doing that for us all season. That's why he's an all-star, one of the best at what he does. Down the stretch, man, I, th those are moments that I really relish and I love. Uh, you know, they're not going to double. You know, it's tough, man, to stop a guy one-on-one, -on -one, especially the score. So I was able to make plays. Uh, when they doubled, I was able to kick it out, and the other guys will make plays as well. Things were going good for us early. Uh, missing shots. We were shooting like 33% from the field. You know, we just found a way to win. You know, got it going in the second half, I think, with defense. Thought we did a, you guys did a great job on Dirk starting with Paul. Um, you know, we, we stuck to our game plan in that second half, and uh, you know, played a lot better offensively. The Nets are in fifth place in the Eastern Conference, one of the hottest teams right now in the NBA. Their win tonight comes on head coach Jason Kidd's birthday. The Nets have now won seven of the last eight. The Dallas Mavericks are back in action on Tuesday night as they host the Oklahoma City Thunder. For D210 Television, I'm Narelle Dixon. You've just been credentialed.